All right, everybody. Hey, thank you for tuning in to Dave and Joe Liberty Stand once again. And uh, the the topic here we're going to talk about is something about Patriots, <laughs> the New England Patriots. You know, one of the best albums in the world is the Rolling Stones' um, um, "Exile on Main Street." And, and uh, what that was was uh, they, in England at that time they were taxed. The taxation was so ridiculously high; they just flooded the country, and, and, and they're. They were expatriates. They went to Morocco, I think, is where, where they went. Yeah. Oh, um, leaving and there. And then they did Exile on Main Street. And an exile is a man without a country. Um, so, I mean, I wrote down expatriate, but I, I'm going to say, I feel like I am a, a exile in my country that is not my country that used to be. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave my... That basically means that's like the long version of saying my country left me and I'm still here but I don't right. know what to do or where to go. Right. Uh, um, You're trying to do what you can to make it better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well that's why we're doing the show. <laughs> right. Uh, make it yep. better, Bob. It makes it feel better. So, <laughs> so anyway you got anything to what do you think about that? I mean you know you think about the like the last shows we did and you were surprised at some of the stuff. Um, yeah, that, that's that, kind that of sneaking about. up, I think. Yeah. And, and, it, it's not America anymore. John Wayne right. was here, there would be people behaving better. I mean, they, this is not supposed to go on. Well, and I think um, it goes back to the show we did last month about Rush Limbaugh and, you know, how... Man, one, I saw the same clothes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have bathed, so, but no, I mean, it, you know, it's about Not together. how, <laughs> I'm his, out of here. His, sh <laughs> <laughs> his shower's not big enough. Hey man, I only got this much hot water, we gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do it quick. <laughs> it's like sharing the bath water, you know, anyway, where, you know, you take a bath and then the next person gets in the same water and... Anyway, that was back when they didn't have plumbing, but so no, but um, but I think again how our decisions, how they can affect others, and I think something that I hear, I've heard through the ministry I've been involved with is we didn't get here by like someone writing a book and saying, hey, how do we, you know, get in this bad position as a country, as morality. It was it's a, it was billions of decisions made by or millions of decisions made by millions of men over hundreds of years kind of thing you know it and as what I'm getting at is is our our choices my choice what I do what I say could how it affects somebody like Rush how he affected you one person you know and how our influence. Either can be very good, positive, well, actually, or very bad. I would actually, you know, I want to go rewind a little bit on okay. the Rush thing. Uh, on the what was, thing? On the Rush Limbaugh thing. Oh, uh, we, um, we can't if do that. it wasn't for Rita, <laughs> the, the girl, oh, the girl. I worked with, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recommending. Insisted I listened to that at least for five minutes. Right. Right. I mean, she was actually the. It, she was the. Uh, um, Catalyst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Right. And then I listened to Rush. Right. And then I, because I listened to Rush and I learned things. Right. I started seeking out other uh, uh, opportunities to learn more things from other people. Right. And it's just snowballed and developed over the years, and that's how you get to. That. Well, and that's kind of what the thing is with all these bad decisions that I was talking about is. If we start making encouraging people and help you know help people to see making the good decisions the right decisions how we can things can turn back around but we got to start on the right path right for this country if I mean for for we we humanity we've come, we, I don't know <laughs> we've come to a point now where um, the government has spilled itself over the I mean right so far from what the founders knew would be a mistake. Oh yeah! Mistake. If they went this direction, um, it'd be a mistake. It's too late. This is we the, have to restart. This is <laughs> the last yeah. chance we have. Yeah, it's the last chance we have, and uh, 
wear a cup because uh, I'm telling you what, it's going to, I mean, even if, even if the right guy goes in, it's going to be rough for a while. Yeah. It can't not be. We've screwed up for too long and we got to make some corrections. Right. And right. by making those corrections, that's okay. going to hurt us badly. Okay. Tell me this then, uh, since you're talking about that, I like, and Bob chime in, but my question is, and maybe on Bob's mind too, is how do we, what kind of decisions do we have to make? What kind of changes should we make to get correct back in the right? Bot, bottom line, yeah, you're on your own. The, oh, the I see. The government, government's not going to bail you the out. The government has no uh, okay. business wiping your ass or yeah. your, your nose or taking care of you or feeding right. you or anything else. Do the, the work. The Constitution of the United it doesn't call for any of that. States can do what they want. That's called the Tenth Amendment. Look it up. Yeah, we've read it before, uh, um, too. <laughs> we have. That's where people should be looking more for a hand up than a hand out. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's gotten too far that way. You, you yeah. know what? Uh, Bob's got his own business, and I... I. Oh, my gosh. he could. He's a great one to... Everybody go to Bob's how it's house. Affected. Where, where is that? My house? His <laughs> house or his business? <laughs> Well, no, but you know, as a business owner, how difficult what you're up against with all the the regulations, all the taxes. All, I mean, I mean, what is it like for you? It's like somebody doesn't want you to be successful. Is yeah. what it's like. It's a bit ridiculous. I mean, every every piece of equipment we need to do our job, we have to pay taxes on it every year. It's just ridiculous. You know, they should tax us on our income. Yeah. No, they shouldn't even do that. That's not in the Constitution. Not nearly as much either. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> you know what? He's Every year you have to pay taxes on his equipment. When you buy something, okay, if there's a tax on yeah. it, fine. Right. You Whatever the tax. percentage is, I pay this for the what item and I pay this for the tax. The sell, ship tax. Sell. Sales tax. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. And that's it. Not but the yearly, but the yearly being taxes. free means that's crazy. You that own things. Yeah. You don't own things when you perpetually right. have right. Well, okay. no, I don't know. I wanna I yeah. wanna extend this. I don't own a home now and I don't really want to. Uh, um property tax. Yeah. Isn't that rent to the government? Do you own your property? Well, in the long run. Uh, no. I don't don't give me the crap. You were telling me about why the food Nazis were justified earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> You're brainwashed. No, you own something or you don't. Here's what I owe to own this. Here's what I pay to own it. And if there's a tax on a fine, here's the tax. I'm done. Right. You don't right. keep paying a tax. They can go up and down at any given time depending on what. And they can tell you what to do with your property or not. Yeah. Is it yours true. or is it not? Do you own the property? Are you a property owner? Are you? And my point of view any, on that is, you know, I don't mind them charging a, a property tax for a certain number of years. It helps pay for all the roads in the community and, it, and all the up, upkeep of all the sewage and everything. But. After somebody reaches a certain age, ISIS. they're on a limited budget, and they have to be able to live. You know, right? You should not be charging property tax to people that are above sixty. Okay, this they is... need a place to live. They've worked their life for that place, and now you want to tax them, and if they can't pay that, then you're out. That's bullshit. Well, first of all, it's bullshit. The fact that you own something or you don't. Yeah. The government has nothing to do with anything you purchase. One of the most important things in the Constitution of the United States is that you own something if you buy it. The federal government should have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Your local government should have nothing to do with it. If I, if I own the bar down the street, I, I can make it however I want. I can say only guys with striped shirts could go in there. You guys are out. Right. <laughs> I'd say no guys with long hair belong in there. No oh, white guys, man, no black just... guys. 
it's my bar, and I could I can sink or swim on whatever my rules are because it's mine. Is it called the thick warning? <laughs> could be, could be. Can long hair guys go in there? Yeah. All right, I'm in. <laughs> but no, I'm just saying. Uh, uh, government should have nothing. To, you own something or you don't. When you outright buy something, you pay what it costs to buy that from that store and the manufacturer of that product. And you pay whatever tax on it. And that's it. And that's over. You don't keep yeah. it. Otherwise, you're renting that, are you not? Yeah. And this has right. nothing to do with the title of this show. <laughs> what was the title of this show? Patriot. Uh, Expatriate. Yeah. It so kind of goes. But okay, it no, connects. it does. It does. And this is why I wrap feel like up, I uh, wrap this, it up, yeah. because I I feel like I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a a member of this country anymore because. I believe in the Constitution, and we were just talking about some of these things about ownership of our own things, and and what it's like to be an American, or what it was, or what it's supposed to be, and it's not anymore. Um, we are nothing more than people. So that, um, that was one of my questions. Though. We can, you know, do this in another show, but to get back on the right track, I guess, you know, that that was something that you brought up. You know, it's going to be hard, and it's going to be. I think what well, you said, what you said earlier, you said something about that it's uh, everybody has to pull up their bootstraps, kind of thing. Pull, you know, right. take care of them. Their, their You're themselves. on your own. Yeah, we're not going to bail you. Out. When I say that, I'm sorry. Most people have friends. Most people have family members. Yeah. Most you're going to take care of each other. And if you don't, you you might well, and, be and a I'd piece say, of crap that needs to slip through the cracks and die. I'd say that's a good point, though, because Uh-oh. it is easy. Because I've I've been in that situation with my own family, extended family. It's like where someone needs help, and you know sometimes it's something where, say, it's an addiction, let's say, but you know they won't get help. But there's been other instances where. You know, and my wife and I have. We, you know, we've taken a we family. Well, we've taken a family where they needed a place to live. You know, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, you know, what I'm saying. Yes. You 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 do it yourself, or you find you take the time to find a. a but place I know we. Uh, yeah, them. but we've we've relied on, or we kind of turn turn. Sometimes we've turned the family over. Say, hey. You know, check with this service or that service. So honestly, you kind of we're kind of been trained to to turn to the government in a lot of really? cases too, don't you think? Okay, you're you're only going to make this go longer because I can do a whole other <laughs> two hour show on that. So let's get okay, out. Okay, but here. Bob has a thought. Americans are the most giving people there are. They're exactly so right. If the government didn't have the stranglehold on all that stuff, yeah. the American people would take care of it. Yep. As yeah. long as more money was put back in the American people's hands instead of take, oh, take, take I see on what you're saying. Yeah, I guarantee you, people would be taken care of. Yeah, by the public, if if the government just didn't decide that that was their issue. Right, to right, right, right. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Well, we'll we're gonna wrap this up, but I think this could we can continue to talk Let's about do another this show later. about the okay. All right. Show. Well, thanks, guys. We'll be back. Right, thanks for tuning in. All right. The-